But they're taking this uh, bipartisanship to a new level. Craig Crawford at uh, Congressional Quarterly, and he's not a bad guy. And I've been on a panel with him, and he is generally sensible and was against a lot of the abuse of the Bush administration. He's suggesting for the new Health and Human Services Secretary position that has opened up because the actual stepped aside, Newt Gingrich. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. No, no, but there has to be a bounds of reason. And that, that is so beyond the bounds of reason, I cannot begin to tell you. You think Newt Gingrich wants to do health care reform? You think he wants to take on the pharmaceutical industry and the health care industry? Those guys are the ones that put food on his table, that are, are the ones he's been fighting for. He's the one that killed the original health care reform in the first place when the Clintons suggested it. Newt Gingrich? No, 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 no. I draw the line here. Now, I don't have to draw a line because I don't believe Obama could be that mental. No, the real person who should get it is the exact opposite, Howard Dean. And we've been saying that on the show for a while. By the way, Tom Daschle gave up two posts that he was going for, not just the head of health and human services, but also there's a new position created called a health czar. Now, these could go to two different people. If they didn't go to two different people, then you don't really need the title of health czar to even exist, right? So if they don't give one of those to Dr. Howard Dean, who's actually a physician, who's actually progressive, who's a strong voice for reform, who was interested in health care reform in the first place, has practical experience, and is accomplished at getting things done. And let's talk about that for a second. The man took over the DNC, and everybody was a skeptic. Rahm Emanuel, James Carville, ba Paul Begala, all the wise men of the Democratic Party. Oh, you can't do a 50-state strategy. You can't get that done. It's not doable. Howard Dean got it done and then said, oh, well, look at this. What happened now? Oh, look at all these red states that we wanted. Huh. Isn't that interesting? And not just Obama, but senators and congressmen in places that they never expected. So here's a guy who knows how to get change done. Howard Dean is clearly the answer for at least one of those posts. Newt Gingrich? Newt Gingrich. Oh, please, man. Now, if they go there, then... What, then that is a very clear sign. Or think, okay, look, they've already loaded up the cabinet with so many Republicans, this a cabinet has not been this bipartisan since Teddy Roosevelt, okay? If they add any more Republicans, or, and I don't mind that they're Republicans, but I mind if they're crazy conservative zealots. If they add one more zealot onto that uh, cabinet, and one less progressive, well then, I've got to reach a conclusion, and my conclusion is, they're not interested in change. They're interested in winning the next election. Because if you make it bipartisan, you have all these appearances and you have all these Republicans, yes, that helps your polls. Because Americans are centrist. God bless their hearts. And they look around and they go, okay, look, Bush was a, you know, a hard right winger and here comes Obama and he's bipartisan. He's bringing everybody in. Yes, but did he get anything done? If he brings all these people in and he gets something done, then I, I love it. I got no problems at all. But here's who's not going to get a damn thing done at HHS, Newt Gingrich. And now, it's just somebody at Congressional Quarterly suggesting it. It's not like we got news from the Obama administration that they're seriously considering it. But here's the man they should consider. Like I said, it's Howard Dean. And the problem is, Rahm Emanuel never liked Howard Dean. He didn't believe in his 50-state strategy. They had legendary fights back when Howard Dean was running the DNC. And Howard Dean was right, and Rahm Emanuel was wrong. Now, unfortunately, Rahm Emanuel was the chief of staff for Barack Obama. And if he passes over Howard Dean for either one of these posts, then it's a clear snub. Then he's saying, I don't give a damn how successful Howard Dean is. I don't care how much he cares about this or if he can get it done. I don't care about the policy. All I care about is my petty political grievances. I'm willing to bring in Republicans, but God forbid I should bring in a smart, strong progressive because then he might challenge my authority. Understand, that is the real issue at hand here. So let's see what they do, because if they snub Dean, they're snubbing all of us. And they're saying, hey, you know what, we don't care about strong progressives, and we don't really, honestly, that health care reform thing, we'll get to it later, maybe. So it's one to watch out for.